Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers. This one is for Unity developers, but as I have shown from previous guides, you can actually get this stuff working in other game engines. I will link that guide down below. So if you want to use these things in, say, uh, the Godot game engine or Blender or whatever, I show you how to do it. Specifically, this one is the Game Dev Guide to Fantasy Character Assets. And what's different about this bundle is, well, let's see, you could tell me. Let's go take a look at it and you'll notice something. There are no tiers. Also, it's very short. This is going to last for two weeks only. Uh, and yeah, there's only one tier here. It's 15 bucks USD. And what you're getting is a bunch of fantasy character assets. These are from Infinity PBR. I do have to warn you also, Infinity PBR stuff has been on Hubble's in the past. I think every single asset in this bundle has actually been available in the past. Just one of those things to be aware of. If you are a hoarder, check your library. Make sure you don't already own it. All these things are redeemed on the Unity store. You get a key. You go to the asset store you redeem it and then it's like you owned it. And it's kind of cool with Infinity PBR because they actually have bonus content, things like the source files. So if you want to use this in other engines, no problem at all. You can actually just use the raw source files in those uh, other assets. And it's just like you purchased it off the asset store so you do get all of those bonus content. So let's go take a look at this guy in action. So here is like a demo program showcasing one of the assets in action. There is full sound for these guys. I have it mercifully muted for you so you don't have to hear a demon getting all mad at you. But you're going to notice idle animations. Everything is fully animated. Uh, we do have a bunch of animation things here. For example, here is the death animation, the taunting animation, hit, dodge, casting. And if I hold it, you get Kamehameha. Woo! And then we have attack. Various different attack animations available here as well. And then finally, we have idle. Now, all these things are very modular. So you're going to notice over here, you've got a variety of different texture sets for the different body pieces. So you're seeing you can really modularize these guys, all different sets for everything that you can work with. Additionally, you can uh, switch out textures on the armor as well. And you can also toggle the armor on and off. Now, if you want this kind of functionality, obviously, you're going to be working in uh, the Unity engine where all of this is set up as prefabs. So this was the demon. Let's go look at another one. Now, this is the gargoyle. A little bit less configurable in terms of the, uh, the things that are going on. You do have alternate texture sets, though. So you got you know, various different looks. I like this one the best, personally. And again, you have a variety of animations. So you've got attack animations. Casting animations, again, you hold down, you get the different effect for the casting, like so. Uh, blocking, again, hold for a longer block. Hitting animation, death animation, and then we got some static animation. So if you're using these guys as just straight out gargoyles up on, uh, you know, a building or something, there is your option available right there. So that is the gargoyle. Next up, we have the worm. Probably the coolest animation is actually the appearance animation where it comes out of the ground. You're going to notice there is full particle effects for these things as well. And you got it going back into the ground as well, which actually are quite cool. Uh, you got hit animations. You got a block animation, again, that is held over time. And then we've got a variety of different attacks. And then we've got a cast for this guy as well. Like so, like a poison breath type effect. Uh, you do also have multiple different texture sets for this guy. Uh, the lighting here is very, very dark, so it's not really seeing it that well. But here, as it's coming around, so fire, uh, there's green, etc. Uh, and then you've also got options on the body parts that you could turn off. So if you don't want spikes or tentacles or whatever, you could turn all those things off. So it gives you a very modular creature. You can also basically just randomize everything that is there. Uh, so that is yet another one. This is the worm effect. And the final one I'm going to demo today is the Weeper. Uh, this is basically a wraith or a ghost of some kind. Uh, you can see it in action over here. Once again, fully animated. So we got turning animation, dodging animations, uh, cast, and so on. So a variety of animations available there. Uh, and then over here, you do have, uh, let me get this guy back to normal, uh, multiple different colors for the robes, etc. And you can turn it into a statue as well. Um, yeah, so, and again, things are tileable, so if you want to have, uh, you know, no cowl, you can do it, no robe top, you can do it, and you can have kind of a, a baseline version of it as well. So heavily modular, so you can have, you know, it doesn't look like just one monster over and over and over again, you got almost, you know, uh, a few dozen or hundreds of different combinations that you can work with, and some of them are pretty, um, severe in the differences there and then again you got a lot of the special effects attached to it as well uh, actually utilizing these guys is really simple too because you know you can build them out of their parts uh, but you'll also notice there's uh, prefab versions of each one so if i go into the demon for example and then i go to prefab 
what you'll find is if I go ahead and create a new scene, like so, I can literally just drop it into the scene and I'm good to go. And this is true for all of them. So if I go here to the uh, worm, for example, let's go to the giant worm, again, prefabs, and then there's a pre-made worm that we can work with as well. So literally getting them up and going in your game, super simple. And then you're gonna notice like this devil, for example, it's got all the audio hooked up for it. Uh, all the animations are hooked up for it as well. Uh, various different blend shapes are in here. You've got uh, scripts for in, in handling like the particle effects and so on for these guys. So these are like literally drag and drop ready to go in your game. Or of course you can sort of build them from scratch. And again, one of the cool things that they do with their with their assets is they do give you, once you've purchased them, so once you've redeemed them on the... Um, uh, the asset store, they do have bonuses that you can then buy for free that have things like the original source FBX files available. So uh, you can customize these guys a whole lot and that does make it easier to use them in other engines as well, which is pretty cool. So that's the end of the demo portion. A quick overview again of the bundle, which you are getting here, only one tier here. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble, the publisher, the publisher, the publisher, uh, the charity, and if you so choose, and thank you so much if you do, uh, to help support Game From Scratch. What you'll see here is you're getting a 10% off coupon for the asset store. Uh, this does expand. Expire, however, so it expires pretty early too, August 31st, 2023. Again, we only have the one tier here. So you're getting bats, demons, giant worms, serpent warriors, a slime character, weeper, gargoyles, uh, mushroom monster pack, uh, flying eye character pack, and then the rock monster pack. Again, all these things tend to have, you know, special effects and animations, etc. Makes them pretty much literally drag and droppable into your game. Uh, multiple animation sets for each, highly customizable on each one. I just, again, need to remind you, I believe literally every single asset you see here has been in a previous bundle. So check your purchases to make sure you don't already own these things. And again, the way it works is you get a single key. That key is redeemed on the asset store. And then it was as if you you bought it directly from the asset store, which means if there are updates, you get the updates, etc. So it's as if you went to the asset store and paid full price for these. On that topic, it's uh, $750 worth of value. They're saying that's Canadian. So I don't know, what is that, $30 US these days? Uh, but yeah, it's a very interesting approach they're taking. There's no tears in this bundle. And then again, it's only two weeks long as well. And another reminder that this coupon here is only good for like a month. But I don't think most people buy these bundles for coupons anyways. But I'm curious what you think of having just single tier bundles. Literally, here you pay 15 bucks and you get all these assets. Again, it's, it's a no-brainer value. If you want a single asset here, each one of these tends to be about, you know, 50 bucks or more. Uh, so you're getting basically that asset for a third of the normal price and a bunch of other stuff for free. It's just this is pretty niche. So it's a very specific genre genre, a very specific art style, uh, and yeah, only one tier in this guy. So I'm curious what you think of Unity's approach to this new uh, bundle uh, setup. Honestly, I don't think tiers are that important. I think a lot of times the middle tier is completely useless. So people either buy the higher dollar value tier or the $1 tier. So it's people I think will miss the $1 tier. Uh, nobody really bought the median value tier. So this is a little bit like a smaller bundle at a cheaper price. I'm curious if you like that, hate that, let me know. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.